It's 35 degrees Celsius outside. The air is thick, your skin is sticky, and the sun feels like it's pressing through the windows. So, you reach for the remote, click. The air conditioner hums to life, and minutes later, the room feels like a pocket of winter. But what's happening here? What exactly is this machine doing to make hot air vanish? Well, it's not making cold. It's moving heat. And that's where the science begins. An air conditioner is essentially a heat pump, a system designed to transfer thermal energy from inside your room to the outside air. It works by using a closed-loop system of coils, a refrigerant fluid, and four key components – the evaporator, the compressor, the condenser, and the expansion valve. Let's explore each part, and the physics behind them. At the core of this process is the refrigerant, a chemical compound with a very useful property. It can change from liquid to gas and back at relatively low temperatures. Why is that important? It is important because when a liquid evaporates, it absorbs heat from its surroundings, and when it condenses, it releases heat. This phase change is the secret weapon of your AC. Inside the indoor unit is the evaporator coil. Warm air from your room is pulled in through a fan and passed over these cold coils. Inside the coils, the refrigerant is in its low-pressure liquid form. As it absorbs heat from the air, it evaporates into a gas, pulling thermal energy out of the room. That's how the air blowing back at you gets cooler. The heat has literally been extracted. Now the refrigerant, now a warm vapor, flows through a pipe to the outdoor unit, where it enters the compressor. The compressor does what its name suggests. It compresses the gas, increasing both its pressure and temperature. The hot, high-pressure vapor moves into the condenser coil, still outside. A fan blows air across these coils, and this time, the refrigerant releases the heat it absorbed earlier. As it loses energy, it condenses back into a liquid, just like steam turning into water on a cold surface. That heat? It's gone vented into the atmosphere. Now the refrigerant, back in liquid form but still under high pressure, passes through the expansion valve. This component acts like a nozzle, suddenly dropping the pressure and temperature of the refrigerant. The cold, low-pressure liquid then returns to the evaporator coil, ready to absorb heat again. And the entire cycle repeats, over and over, quietly, efficiently, scientifically. This loop, evaporation, compression, condensation, expansion, is governed by the laws of thermodynamics. It's not about making cold. It's about the movement of energy from the inside of your room to the world outside. Of course, none of this comes for free. The compressor uses electrical energy to run, which is why air conditioners consume a significant amount of power, especially in summer. Modern AC systems use advanced control systems and inverter technology to adjust their cooling power dynamically, saving energy while maintaining comfort. So next time you walk into a cool room on a hot day, know this, you're not just feeling cold air. You're experiencing a perfectly engineered transfer of heat, made possible by chemistry, physics, and a bit of clever design. Air conditioning, not magic. Just good science. If you did learn something from this video, please help me like, comment and above all subscribe to help me stay relevant on the platform. See you in my next video. Bye.